Take a moment and think to yourself about the last time you avoided something because it was too uncomfortable or too risky. Now imagine if you lived your entire life with this cautious mindset, held captive by your doubts, too scared to try anything new, too scared to achieve your dreams. Ask yourself, would I rather be uncomfortable momentarily or live a lifetime full of regret? The comfort zone is a psychological state in which one functions in a stress-neutral environment, providing stability at the cost of limiting growth. In our comfort-driven society, we find solace in familiar and consistent routines. Despite the benefit of these routines, only with new experiences can we truly foster growth. Through managing stress, trying new things, and embracing our failures, we can achieve the success that lies beyond the barrier of our comfort zones. I'm scared of public speaking, along with 70% of the population. This talk itself is outside of my comfort zone, but it's through embracing this discomfort that facilitates growth. Let me take you back to a small and dimly lit theater. In it is a short boy forced to partake in a summer musical. Timidly waiting for his cue, he stands behind a curtain, hands sweating, heart pounding, envisioning all the little things that can go wrong. He hears his cue, steps out into the spotlight, and begins his solo. Starting the song strong, a smile begins to form on his face. His confidence begins to build. And then click, all of a sudden, music cuts out. He stumbles his lines and cracks his voice trying to recover. And he hesitates, face flushed red. Submerged in uncomfortable stress, he makes a choice and keeps on singing. The song ends and despite having a rough time, 10-year-old me is overcome with joy. <laughs> As I persevered through stress, the weight of my fears were lifted and replaced with a sense of liberation and empowerment. While stress may seem inherently detrimental, studies such as the Yerkes and Dodson Law have proven that it is directly proportional to performance. So as stress increases, so does success. While stress does increase performance due to heightened levels of, of focus, I don't recommend immediately throwing yourself into high stress scenarios because true and consistent growth develops an equidistance between comfort and panic. The resilience I learned in the face of this balanced stress reframed my entire perception of what I believe I could accomplish. And it's this new outlook on life that inspired me to try new things, broadening my perspective and cultivating a creative mindset, facing unfamiliar challenges forced my brain to learn how to adapt. I began to embrace uncertainty and take risks. When one steps outside of their comfort zone, they're exploring new territory, creating new pathways between neurons. These additional synapses forged by unfamiliar situations increase the brain's neuroplasticity as we begin to age, our brains accumulate a natural plaque, deteriorating our cognitive functioning. The more synapses and greater neuroplasticity we have, the longer our brains can stay sharp and healthy. So by stepping outside your comfort zone, you are effectively prolonging your ability to think. With all these benefits, what is stopping people from embracing discomfort? A central fear and likely outcome of leaving your comfort zone is failure. 2,774. That's how many failed experiments Thomas Edison conducted. The 2,775th one being the first commercially viable light bulb. Edison knew that despite the setbacks that were and will be a product of taking risks, success is built in adversity. Imagine all the opportunities you could miss out on by remaining in your comfort zone. All the doors of possibility shut because of a petty fear of discomfort, a petty fear of failure. Face these fears of being judged, criticized, and imperfect. Take that leap of faith out of your comfort zone and step into success, pushing beyond these imaginary barriers and limitations. Discover your true potential. Begin to appreciate that we can learn from our mistakes and bounce back because every failure carries with it the seed of a greater benefit. So don't let your doubts define or diminish your dreams because by staying in your confident comfort, you're dooming yourself to a life of regret. Similarly, confined within a chrysalis, a seemingly irrelevant caterpillar designed for greatness. It breaks away from its cocoon, emerging into the world in a bloom of beauty. 
Despite having humble beginnings, the monarch butterfly is one of the many insects contributing to over 90% of the world's pollination, vital to the global ecosystem. Just like a caterpillar, imagine the beauty the world would miss out on if you stayed confined in your own cocoon of comfort, never pushing yourself, never growing, never achieving your dreams. In a society plagued with the fear of the uncomfortable, it is necessary for you to break beyond your own barriers barriers. So go to a place you've never been before. Learn a new instrument. Talk to a stranger. Try a different recipe. Because in the words of Neil Walsh, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Thank you.